Hey guys, welcome to the Rise Up Podcast. Uh, today we're going to talk about Redfall and uh, that, be, I'm DJ Kiba. So there, there's been a topic of conversation recently and I don't know if you guys have seen the game Redfall. Uh, we Everybody was pretty excited for it after the trailer and like waiting oh, for it yeah. to come out. It was a vampire hunting game. Like who who wouldn't like that? That's super cool. Um, I myself have put in about five hours now. Um, last time I streamed it, I put in like it was, I was at like two, two, three hours. Um, it's very boring. Yeah, no, I, I got all my gameplay impressions from like other people, uh, streams, uh, Twitter, a bunch of like, I get, I mean, I didn't see your stream completely, but it w- it did seem kind of boring. It seemed like all your, you and your boys, including uh we're all pretty much bored with the game after a while like yeah because um, like when you start the game the intro cinematic's uh-huh. cool the way it set, sets up is like super cool and then you get into the meat of the gameplay mm-hmm. and you're like from the trailer now i'm i'm going to do like compare and contrast here from the trailer you're in a town that's overrun by vampires and people that are controlled by, by vampires and you're yeah. you play one of four hunters that your job is to like save the town um now i didn't expect much when you go outside in daytime i expected to see some of the um like the cultists you know what i mean Mm. uh but once nighttime hit i'm like okay it's gonna be sick there's gonna be vampires everywhere it's gonna be chaos i think when we were running around in nighttime we fought maybe one or two like roaming vampires wow the 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 most the only time we died the only time we died through that entire first run was we took a side quest from a safe house to go mm-hmm. kill a vampire underboss. So we leave the safe house and we go to the church where we're fighting this thing. Mm-hmm. We go in, we kill one vampire that's with it, and as we almost kill the underboss, it spawns in like 10 more vampires, and that's how we ended up dying. That's the most vampires we had seen <laughs> up until that point. So, nice. like, the the fighting is cool. The encounters are cool when you finally find them. But the town just feels dead during the day and night mm-hmm. cycle. Yeah, I guess a, a game you can compare it to, which sounds like you were kind of expecting. It's like Dying Light. You know, like, when you go outside at night and Dying Light, holy crap. They get way more aggressive. You're like running around. Well, I mean, you got parkour and everything on there, but that's kind of what it sounded like that you were expecting. Like it's like it was just gonna be like a big shift in like danger levels. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, and they were really gonna fucking be like a raid or something in the middle of the night, you know, hunting for the last humans or something. And and that's the key thing because the way it was portrayed is like nighttime is just dangerous. Because obviously mm-hmm. va- vampires can't go outside during the nighttime. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's just the town felt empty. It felt very... So it was the same, same level, you would say. Um, you know, the same amount of vampire enemies at night during the day. Maybe like one to two more. Because they, <laughs> they, can, they can be outside during the night. Oh, now, wow. now, maybe we, <laughs> we haven't progressed far enough... Or maybe we have to put it on, like, uber difficulty. Because we, we all played on what would be, like, normal slash hard mode. Mm-hmm. Um, now there's a mode that has you, you can't unlock it until you beat the entire game. Maybe that makes a difference. I'm not sure. <laughs> sure. Well, I haven't, I haven't heard anybody mention any of that either. But, I mean, it sounds like you're going to have to suffer through the game for a chance that maybe it'll get better on a new playthrough. Yeah, it's just, it's... Like doesn't sound worth it. It knows what it wants to be. It had, and the, this is a conversation. What, 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 the, I guess the question is, what is it then? Because it doesn't sound like it's a looter shooter. Was like, you know, because normally when a game comes out, you can put it definitely like into a category, right? Like like Borderlands, mm-hmm. you know, Destiny Two. You can straight away, right away, be like looter shooter. Mm-hmm. You know, um, you, uh, you, oh, like all these new games too. Like they kind of take a. Um, from a different genre, but you can like always go like, okay, that's the type of game that is, you know. Yeah. Uh, but th- this this game, I can't 
put my finger on it. I don't I don't know what it is. Um, I wouldn't say looter shooter strictly because the amount of loot you do get is very minimal. Mm -hmm. I think I got one or two like named weapons that were better than you know standard mm -hmm. standard rarity, and that was throughout like the entirety of my playtime. Um, and I know there's gonna be people like, oh well, you gotta get you know X Y Z far into the game. Well, the game should want me to get hours, <laughs> hours and hours into the game. Um, yeah. But no, it's you can't really call it a looter shooter because you don't get enough loot like through the events. Like we cleared out. Cleared out a vampire safe house that had four vampires in the entire house. Um, it was just, it was it was a letdown to say the least. Like it played well, ran well on on my PC. I don't mm -hmm. have like an Uber rig. Um, oh, so you played it on PC, right? You didn't. You didn't I, I did, yeah. Well, well so my two buddies that I played with were console players. I didn't hear a complaint out of them the whole time. Mm -hmm. they they enjoyed their time now granted we all played through xbox game pass so we played for free i guess <laughs> um but i i will say i will i will make this call in good conscience i would not pay full price or even half price for this game honestly well, considering the price was what 70 yeah brand, brand new 70 dollar game oh my god i i might if I was very bored and I had nothing to do, I might pay twenty to thirty. If I'm feeling froggy, mm -hmm. but it's not. It's not a seventy dollar game. Yeah, it kind of sounds like like um, I know most PC players. Are, I guess got kind of used to the whole thing with the uh, early access because that's kind of what it sounds like. It doesn't sound like a full release game to me. Definitely sounds like an early access. Give us your feedback. We'll work on it. Type of deal. Well, they didn't present it as that, so I'm, I'm assuming this was supposed to be full release. Let's go. No, nothing wrong with it. The the, the gameplay presentation should have been there from the get go. Because uh, it sounds like they had a bunch of ideas, but just didn't land on any of them. Well, so to touch on that point, so our our good friend Noodles, who for, we we game with often, and he frequents our streams, he's played a lot of it. And he stopped in and he goes, yeah, this game should should have definitely been like early access or like alpha or beta. And I was like, what do you mean? He goes, have you noticed that some of the NPCs, when you try to talk to them, it gives you the option to talk to them, but mm -hmm. then there's no dialogue. And I said, oh, I thought that's just because they like weren't going to talk to me because I'm like the new person in town. No, they're not, pro <laughs> they're not programmed <laughs> to use their dialogue lines. So I like wow. there's a, there's a, there's a part where you like when you first get to like your main base in like the firehouse and there's yeah. a guy guarding the door and I was going around talking to each one of the NPCs and I go up to this guy at the door and he's standing there holding a shotgun wearing a suit and I'm like mashing the button trying to talk to him and it's just it's just nothing and I like made a point I was like okay he just doesn't want to talk to me no he li he literally can't talk to me because it's not in the game so I don't yeah, no, I did. I did see a clip on Twitter where like they uh, went around with the other characters, mm -hmm. and all of them were like this. Mm. Mm. Every time it's like talk. Mm. I was like, really? What's going on here, dude? Is that normal? That definitely sounds like it now. All right. And then I I haven't experienced this myself, but I've seen hundreds hundreds of clips at this point of the AI programming on the vampires where. If you stay, if you stand behind a car or like on a car, they uh, they won't go around it. Okay, yeah, that sounds that sounds horrible. Okay, I see, I see why all the review scores are super low. Yeah, no, um, it's okay. Well, okay, so Red Falls disaster confirmed. Um, but I want to bring up uh, Phil Spencer because uh, it was he was on a in couple interviews apparently now, uh, where he owned up. To uh, the disappointment that Redfall has been, um, which is rare to see, and my respects for the man has gone extremely up after that because I, you never see that, you never see that, and it sounds like he's going to work with the team directly to to revive, I guess, Redfall. Um, and we we've seen it happen with other games like No Man's Sky. Uh, was a big, very big example of it, which, you know, everybody thought Anthem was going to be maybe like a redemption type of uh, 
story there as well. I what? think Redfall might be a No Man's Sky story. Why you got to bring up Anthem like that? You know, you know that hurts. <laughs> because it was like they're gonna fix it. Never mind, they just ditched. That, that, <laughs> like, it could have been such dropped a it all completely. Um, I think, like I said, I think the bones are there. I think there's mm. the possibility that it could it could be something like great. Um, mm. they just have they just have to figure out what they want to do. To me, I see. I don't know if it's like throwing a resources thing at it. But it just make the world not feel empty and decide if it's going to be like a looter shooter. Because I don't I don't know if it's a linear story from start to finish with like side quests and kind of like a fallout, I guess. Mm -hmm. Or once you get to end game, you start seeing like vampire strongholds. And that's a good question. I haven't heard anything about an end game. Th that's what I mean. Like I because I was sitting there. I'm like, I was talking to my buddy. And I like made a description. I was like, it would be cool if they did this, 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 and this. And I was like, wait, I just described the division, but with vampires. And he's like, yeah, you kind of did. And I was like, oh, I was like, okay, they can't do that. <laughs> um, but no, the fact I actually didn't hear about the Phil Spencer thing until you brought it mm -hmm. up to me. So I, I, I don't have much to talk on that. That's actually huge because yeah. Phil Spencer is always like out in front of everything. Um, and mm -hmm. the fact that he straight up came out and was like, yeah, it's not good. Um, that's actually, do you, do you, um, so he's, he's going to work with the team. Yeah, they're, they're definitely going to try to, uh, bring it to life. I guess it's the, uh, assumption. Uh, but he also did say some stuff that worried me a little bit because they were saying, um, um, you know, because they, 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 were, they said they were going to deliver on the 60 frames per second for console. Yeah. Right. So they're gonna be working on that. He didn't find that out till later, and then he they he was saying that Arcane didn't um they didn't know they had all these extra help available to them. Um so what he said was that he actually got uh developers from the other teams from first party, sorry, first studio uh teams, and they're gonna help Arcane hit that uh 60 frames on console. So I was like, okay, so they do have resources to help. Uh but the other thing was like um one of the interviews was interviewees asked him basically that uh that their focus has been solely on PC and you know consoles very very lacking uh and then Phil Spencer said that uh well I can't remember exact words but he's okay with being third place he's like when Starfield comes out it's not going to make anybody Trading their PS5s for um, an Xbox. His words. I don't know if that means. I mean, I'll, it, it would sound weird, to say the least, if he would say it because uh, he doesn't want to. Probably doesn't want to sound like cocky or anything like that. But that, that also doesn't really give me a sense of much confidence in Starfield. I was gonna say it sounds like he's trying to temper expectations are ready for starfield and that's not yeah that's, it, that's, that's, that's like, not a good thing exactly that exactly that's what i'm saying and, and you already know like a good thing i mentioned no man's sky because you can from from the, the the previews that they did um i don't know if it was uh e3 um or what show was but when they finally revealed gameplay from starfield everybody's like wow it's okay no man's sky's out already <laughs> yeah yeah literally and they've got the bugs worked out yeah that's so so you mean to tell me they're throwing all of these resources into starfield and we still don't have the next elder scrolls game pretty much yeah oh and you know the, the interview guys were like really i mean they were they were wowed by the honesty phil spencer uh was coming out with and you can tell phil spencer too was like i mean I get to deal with this in my job too, where it's like they expect certain stuff from me mm -hmm. as a super, but I'm not the hands on guy. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I can tell the guys to hurry up. I can tell the guys to work, <laughs> but you know, when, when the, the stuff comes out, you're like, no. And I feel like he's in the same position right now because he, they got all these studios now working on games. Right. And I do remember him saying like all the games that have been revealed today, uh, they're going to come out this year. And, delay after delay after delay there's a bunch of games that i was like really hoping to see stuff already about 
uh, they they haven't uh, touched up on again. I don't know if that makes sense. And I can't think, I can't remember a couple because like I kind of stopped following it, but I know there was like probably like three more that I'm like waiting to see the, the process or where they're at. Like, can, can I see some gameplay now? Because I know it's like, okay, Xbox is finally going to come out with some bunch of good games now. I'm like, where, where are they? And yeah, he, he also admitted, you know, there's some fault there where, you know, the, but he said he was feeling good now that there is a bunch of stuff now coming down the pop line and, uh, I think it's called Summer Game Fest or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I forgot though. Actually, my mom might be spot on on the name, but he did say expect some uh, updates about those games finally. So that's uh, that's some good news in there. <laughs> um, I mean, hopefully, it's <laughs> that doesn't sound promising. I'm going to be completely honest with you, but I'm, I'm mm-hmm. I think I've become very jaded when it comes to games because games will release and then they don't function and then they're like. We have a roadmap. And then two years later, the game finally functions how it was supposed to on release. Looking at you, yeah. looking at you, Halo Infinite. Um, but no, that's it's like it's almost disheartening because <laughs> you should be excited for g- game releases and you should expect them to want to function and deli- deliver on what is presented to you. Like if yes. you if you order a cheeseburger and somebody brings you out a piece of uncooked steak, you're like. That's not what I wanted at all. And then you send yeah. the, you send the steak back, and then they bring you back a piece of like half cooked chicken. So you're still gonna get sick if you eat it, and you're like, still not the cheeseburger I ordered. And then you send it back like two more times, and then they finally bring you out your cheeseburger. But then it's missing all the toppings because you have to pay extra for all the toppings. Oh god, yeah, all the DLC. So it's. <laughs> It's just it's it's frustrating to to that end, just because yeah. like here's the the I'll I'll be honest the games I'm most excited for are Warhammer Space Marine two whenever that finally releases and Diablo four yeah apart apart well, we, we can, if you want to compare Diablo four I feel like they did a good job and I feel like more games need to be doing this too like maybe Redfall would have um, benefited from uh, the way they're doing it like you know because I don't think anybody had any hands on with Redfall to give him a, a proper, like, no, this ain't ready. Take it back to the kitchen. Oh yeah. Like, so like, but, as, because like, when, a, like when, a testing cycle. Yeah. So when everybody got their hands on Diablo four, you know, um, the devs really got on it. They're like, okay, we're going to change this. We're going to change this. We're going to change this. We were hearing you guys, you know, and I think Redfall was just, was just not ready to come out at all. And, you know, like, like you, like you were saying, then you know during night you were expecting something else, and and I honestly I was I was expecting it to be like dying light, where like it's crazy, like I am legit in that game scared to come out at night, <laughs> yeah, because of how how much different, how much like hectic it gets at night. And that's the thing; those are zombies; they're not vampires. Yeah. <laughs> like, you, if you substitute those zombies in, same AI and everything, it, it'd be oh my god, yeah, the same thing, yeah, it'd be like. I will still be freaked out of my mind to go out, you know? Yeah, and that's how it should be, because in, at least in Redfall, you're you're not scared of what's supposed to be, like, the penultimate enemy. And that's, yeah. it's just... that you, Because that would be cool. Imagine, like, you're, like, defending your base at night, <laughs> you know? Yeah, no, like, it... You're it, like, oh, God, they're trying to get in. But at, at, during the day, you know, you're all out there uh, massacring them, and they're... Uh, nest and stuff that'd be that, awesome see be. that that would be awesome that would be fun um but like i said i'm just i'm just coming up with it i don't know what the game is i haven't played it but it sounds to me like that's where the direction uh, should have been you know, i mean that's... if you like like i said d- don't do not pay full price for this this title um mm. i would try not to pay anything for this title if you have xbox game pass on your pc or your console try it there that way you're not wasting your money. Mm. You can experience what we're talking about. Maybe there's an audience that enjoys the game. That's a possibility. But it just it it didn't do it for me and many others cuz it just doesn't feel like what they said it was supposed to feel like. Mm-hmm. Um 
in terms of their studio, not like u- utilizing resources and things like that, that sounds like a miscommunication in uh, like or mismanagement almost. Mm-hmm. But in terms of like how Blizzard reacted to Diablo Four and they like actually were proactive. Remember the past couple years and all the stuff Blizzard went through, like the um, d- don't you guys have phones? Yeah, let's let's not forget about that. Mm-hmm. They had to go through that to get to the point where they're actually doing very good with Diablo Four. Yeah. So, but I mean that aside, it it could be good. It could be a No Man's Sky. It could be a Sea of Thieves. It could be a Division. It could come back and actually be a good a fun a fun thing to play but right now it feels just very it's it's like a skeleton with no meat on the bones to to me Mm -hmm. no i agree i agree from everything i've seen um dead on arrival basically yeah you should do a relaunch (laughs) but 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 the uh, i and i i want to i want to punch in on this point is that the game runs well, at least on PC. I don't know what people on console are experiencing, but it runs well. It looks pretty good. The the UI is pretty good. The gameplay is good. The shooting, the the executions, the abilities, all that stuff. It it functions. Um, so it's not like it's mechanically broken. It's just lacking content and purpose, if you will. Needs more time in the oven. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, it was. It was, just wasn't ready. Sounds like it was going. It's going in the right direction. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a, it was a cake, pull out of the oven, served without the frosting decorations, the happy birthday, all that stuff. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Basically, now let's just hope but they don't. There's something to build upon. Let's just hope they don't bring it back and charge you for a bunch of cosmetics. That's all. But. We will see what happens. Hopefully it's a it's a comeback story. So until next time, thank you guys for listening. Keep gaming. Keep rising up. I have been the RB3. I'm DJ Kiba. See you next time. See you guys.